Hi, and welcome to part two of our double rabbit hutch. This is similar to our first project, and uh, what we've done is add a second layer to it. I showed you the skin earlier in part one, and uh, this is the completed project. So I'll give you a little tour. It is um, a little bit bigger than our first project. It is about eight feet long, almost eight feet, by about five feet wide. Um, each um, level is divided into two equal spaces and uh, lots of room for our rabbits to um, enjoy themselves, run and play, and, um, and uh, I think it's a good space for them. So I'll give you a quick little tour, so I'll just go around it first. We've got it tucked in the trees here, so it's, uh, it's great. It's, again, it's got asphalt shingles. Uh, it's got a little space in the back for, uh, where they can hide out. We had a big storm about a week ago, and um, heavy winds and rain, and um, our current rabbits all hid in their... Um, in their little holes there, so that worked out really well. I was pleased to see that they took shelter. Um, so there's the front of it there, and you can see the four holes. I've got the bottom left-hand one there uh, just blocked off uh, for the time being. I'm using that as storage. And uh, um, we get some rabbits this weekend, so we're excited about that. So there's the other side of it here. So I'll uh, just show you around here. So lots of room. Uh, the kids have really enjoyed um, um, having the rabbits uh, at their level. We have young children and um, it's just a pretty friendly space all around for them. So I'll show you um, a couple things we did here. Um, adding on a second level, um, well we had to worry about uh, droppings and all that kind of stuff. So looking inside you can see the space and what we've done is we've added pans here. We cut a cut a place for those and really quite simply pull these out and I'll just leave that out so you can get a better look at it. Uh, so there's one there and one right in behind it and that's duplicated on both sides. So that um, that should work out just fine, easy to clean and uh, we just push those in and they're there. There's our doors, top and bottom. Again with a simple little latch I'll open it up and let you uh, have a look inside. Tons of space for these guys. Um, it goes up about, and we put mesh up there as well, it goes up about 25 inches, so just lots of room for these guys. And a um, little food dish here, water bottle, to show you up close, it's a it's pr pretty cool space for them. So that's it there, and that's the same top and bottom, I'll just close that and show you our uh, little compartment back here. So this is the same kind of thing. So what we've done um, is there's a little access um, for the rabbits. Um, again, real tall, lots of space. They can't get anywhere. It's very uh, sheltered for them. What I've done to litter train them, um, just to make my life a whole lot easier, um, seeing as it's just not a whole, an entire wire bottom, is we've um, been quite successful in being able to litter train these guys. Um, so what I've done is I've blocked off the back half with an angled uh, piece of plywood. Um, that kind of forces them to, well, if they want to get at their, uh, their hay there, um, forces them to sit in here, do their business. This is clean, of course. Um, do their business and munch away. Uh, with most of our rabbits, we can get them litter trained in two or three days. I'm really quite amazed on how quickly uh, that works out for us. So I'll just step back and give you an idea of what the whole thing looks like there. So that's the same on the top and the bottom. Um, so that's it there. I'll go around to the other side. I've got a couple other gizmos here, which we did. It's about um, 18 inches off the ground, so that's not too bad. And we've put it up on uh, another material so that the uh, although they're cedar posts, um, it won't rot. Uh, what we've done here, I'll just open this back part here, and this uh, again is a mirror image of what's in the other side. So that's really great, and a rabbit might try to climb up there, but because that's on an angle, he has absolutely no luck. So that's really great. Uh, and what we've done here, again, there's times where, you know, we don't have a lot of rabbits in our rabbitry, uh, certain times, and uh, so what we've done is created a little wire system here, which is on a latch there, and you'll see right in behind it, just open that up, just simply pull that off, and you'll see right in behind here, I can raise that up, and just put it in there and that remains open. If we decide that we want to um, allow one rabbit to have the entire top level. It's just a neat little feature. It's completely unnecessary. It was kind of fun to design and build and it's, and it's fun to show it off a little bit. So um, that works out really well. Um, just a simple little, this is clothesline wire which I had um, just kicking around and um, 
there it is closed. So that works out really well as well. Um, this guy here took us, took me um, about an entire month to build. Um, again, just kind of spare time, a few hours here and there uh, on the weekends and so on. And um, pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Um, just adds to our rabbitry. So this um, uh, is a pretty cool project. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tour. And uh, please comment uh, if you like or dislike it or have any ideas to improve it. We're always looking uh, for new ideas and things to make our rabbitry a little bit better. Thanks for watching.